Here we have a 2018 on a 67 registration Neoplan P20 Tourliner 2 55 seat executive coach. Vehicle is operated by Johnson Brothers over in Worksop, Nottingham and Derbyshire border. This is one of a pair of identical vehicles. I'll just let this wagon past. Pair of identical vehicles we're offering for sale. Uh, this one, as you can see, is in stock white. Just go holidays livery. The sister is in Johnson Brothers blue. So that livery and the blue one has the extra marker lights and extra and the aerons and all the usual Johnson Brothers paraphernalia. And that one we do offer with a repaint into one base colour. As you can see, alloy wheels are fitted, power operated centre continental door. This was one of the bikes that were new to Highland Heritage. Um, and prior to Highland Heritage deciding they needed to refurbish all the hotels and selling the vehicles after quite a short period of time. Uh, we have sold vehicles from this batch before to be perfectly honest reverse cameras fitted under the bonnet we've got Euro 6 MAN engine which is driven through a tipmatic automated 12 speed gearbox that's essentially an MAM badge ZFAS Tronic vehicles very straight as you can see there's never ever any issue with selling anything from this fleet um, the maintained to the last penny body works always up and at it because they've got a big body shop S&G coach builders as part of the group parallel lift lockers with good amount of luggage space just over 13 meters 13.2 I think these uh, P20s which for me is a good size I think a lot of people shy away from tri-axles um, not quite sure why they prefer 13 meters on two axles but one that brings with it its weight problems I mean just to give you an example this is a 13 on two axles and if you look at the length of the wheelbase you're always gonna have issues with bumps in the middle that makes sense we're on one of these because of the swing with the rear steer it's going to be back corners now I'm not being funny but if you hit that in the middle it's a side bay it's a stretch panel it's a locker door it's a center door that's a bit of fiberglass on back corner you know and you will get this into far more tight spots than you will get that one over there jumping on board 55 Brucer reclining seats uh, this one is finished in this blue and black interior uh, we're just checking on the other one I know there is a one that isn't for sale that has like a black and red interior so I'm just checking on which one the blue what which interior the blue one has uh, as that may give you an option of for interiors Brucer recliners as I said three point seat belts fitted leather piping and headrest inserts We're also wired for CCTV. We have trays to the seat backs and also we have double USB socket at every seat. Very, very clean and well presented these vehicles. Majority of the work will have been on tours. This one obviously being in just go livery will be predominantly doing UK based tours. Uh, it has a centre sunken toilet fitted. Your standard near plan as I describe it, Germanic, because you see it on Cetras and MAN Lions and things like that. Standard Germanic uh, hot drinks facility in the centre. I remember to cover it up, but usually I forget to close that. We're fully air conditioned, we're wired for DVD, we have two fixed monitors. As I said, the two vehicles we've got for sale, other than the colour, are virtually identical. You know, very low mileage, not 200,000 kilometres on this one. Dashboard, 
all in good order. I think the 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 tall liner cockpit is one of the best laid out cockpits around. You've got the multifunction steering wheel. You've also got you can't see it because the door's on, so it's showing the middle door camera, but you've got a multimedia system there that's got Bluetooth facility as well. Lane departure and automated emergency braking system in the dashboard. We have a uh, fridge in the dashboard as well. Courier seat. All the accoutrements. There's a word I don't think I've used before in one of my videos. All the accoutrements that you'd expect. And, and one thing also to mention, because um, there are people that still get a little bit wibbly wobbly when you mention an MAN. Euro 6 MAN is a completely different beast to the Euro 5. Euro 6 runs on a on an AdBlue system which no previous MANs have. Uh, so different different technology on emissions. And obviously man got a bad rap with um, EGR problems and so on and this is a totally different beast. MAN had to get Euro 6 right because of the addant and they'd have failed and had the issues like they were Euro 5. There wouldn't be MAN trading anymore. You know, they had to get it right and they did. It's a good strong engine, very smooth vehicles to ride on and drive. You know, they're a driver's coach as well as a passenger's coach. So to recap, this is one of a pair of 2018 on 67 registration near plan p20 tour liner 2 55 seat executive coaches